In total, South Africa has 450 golf courses to choose from. We looked at them all to bring you its top 10 golf courses throughout the country. So without further ado, let's zoom on in to number 10 on this list. Palmer Golf Course to start us off on this list. Being built in 2006, the course stretches 6,500 and 53 meters with a slope of 149 and a rating of 76.5. It's been ranked as a top golf course year in and year out, has bent grass greens and ryegrass fairways. Let's give an applause to number 10 on our list. Just like that, there's nine more golf courses to take a look at throughout the country of South Africa. It's important to note that this is an opinionated list we're going to be constantly making updates periodically, so keep a lookout for those. Let's zoom on in to number 9 on our list, this mountain course that is a par 72. It's a resort style course as well, and it has a slope of 141 and a rating of 74.2. Let's roll that uh, good footage over here of the course stretches along 6,401 meters. The course was designed by Jack Nicholas, and it's considered one of his signature golf courses being built in 2005. It also looks like Thomas Pearson was involved in that building as well. There's a lot to like here. There's a clubhouse. There's some great golf. It almost looks like you're in Montana with some of these views. You don't look like South Africa. The golf course is listed as a parkland style course in nature with a configuration of five par threes and five par fives. Interesting. There's two valleys that this course sits in that divides, which I believe the front and the back nine. Let us know in the comment section if we get that right. It doesn't say here in the website, but it's been considered South Africa's greatest golf destination. It has some well-known holes that we've probably seen before in other videos. A little fun facts, that's what we like to do here on this channel. Jack Nicholas signed a one-year design fee plus expenses. And two years later, this course was developed. Um, and it also looks like the development went bankrupt uh, following this in 1996. And it all seemed to kind of come back into place when the course was built. Quickly moving us into number eight on our list. It's important to note that we'll be using your comments down below to be updating our videos periodically of the top 10 in this country. So let's zoom on in to number eight here. Bull Mountain Championship style course here at this resort. This championship course is located in West Cape, South Africa, Western Cape, South Africa. It's considered one of the jewels of the town. It's a resort style course that's open, you know, if you're, if, you're, if you're there, if you're staying there. It's a par 72 that stretches along 6,355 meters. Spectacular views and might even need to move this a little bit higher up in our list. It was built in 2000 by Ron Fernar and David Dale. It is an absolute gem of a golf course, quote unquote, by Golf Digest. It's been considered one of the top golf in South Africa by other golf outlets. But unfortunately on this list, we're gonna push it down to number eight on our list. Now, it's important to note that there's a couple golf courses there and we're just gonna give number eight to all of it at this resort. The stats that we provided was only for the championship course. There's also that mountain course as well. Now, let's take a pause and zoom out so we can digest those first two golf courses that's incredible for the country of South Africa. It's important to note that we are going to be going to South Africa and making updates to these videos with that information. Let's zoom on now to number seven on this list, a link style course. The course stretches 6,300 
and 72 meters for a par 72. Of course, also has a ton of history being built in 1929, one of the oldest golf courses on this list, built and designed by famous golf architect Donald Steele. It's got carts, it's got caddies, it's got a clubhouse, it's got all the amenities to push it over the edge. And with that history, we're going to put it at number seven on this list. A beautiful link style course to kind of separate some of the other courses coming up for South Africa. Let's zoom on out so we can take a look at number six here. And there's a total of two golf courses at the location we'll be looking at next, each of them making the top golf course on this list. Now, the one that we'll be looking at here is number six and stretches 6,311 meters. It's listed as a parkland style course that is a par 72, opening in 1991. It's hosted the Presidential Cup in 2020 and it's been designed by golf architect Gary Player. It's also important to note that it has bent grass greens and is open year round. A lot of houses on this golf course, but from the aerial footage that we were able to pull, it's clearly an elite golf course on this list. Green fees at this golf resort for this course go for 950 czar. It's also, let us know if you've played any of these golf courses so far, because we will like to update these lists with your comments in the comment section below. Construction at this golf complex dates back to 1990 with the intention of a 27 hole club, uh, club layout. Several years later, an additional nine holes was completed resulting in this course being completed. And this course has been ranked a top 10 golf course throughout Golf Digest, going as low as 14th on Golf Digest as of recently. If you've played this course, let us know if it deserves to be number six on our list. But I tell you that there's some pretty unique holes here, just like the one we saw. And we're hopefully gonna add this one trip to South Africa. Well, let's zoom on back because we still haven't even reached number five. That's right. The course that is going to be cutting us in half is next up on this list. But before we do, we want to get a little bit more aerial footage of that course just to verify in number six. So let's zoom on out to take a look at number five on this list. The next course on our list is one of the longest golf courses known to man. That's right, Gary Player Country Club. And that's, that, that, it has a lot to offer here at this private golf course. It stretches just a little bit under 8,000 yards at 7,981 yards for a par 72. It's a challenging course nonetheless, with the course record only being completed as a 62 by Lee Westwood in 2011. It's considered one of the best golf courses in South Africa, and also a top 100 in the world by Golf Digest. And green fees at this golf course, even though it's private, listed at about 900 or so it looks like it could be potentially played. If you've played this course, let us know down in the comment section below. It's absolutely one of the best golf courses and maybe should be a little bit higher on our list. But we're going to be constantly updating this list with information that you provide in the comment section. It's almost like a Reddit type feel. As we continue to update these videos and bring you more countries throughout the world, and this is a good course right here. I mean, just look at the aerial footage of that. It's it's in a very unique spot. Probably one of the top hitting golf courses also in the world. Let's zoom on in to number four on our list. The course is listed as a parkland style slash link style course. And you can clearly see there's a lot of houses on the course. And that's typically 
doesn't make our top of the you know, top of the list, but this course snuck through there, making number four. It's a part 72 that stretches 6,222 meters. It has a slope of 141 and a rating of 74. The course also has a massive hotel associated with the golf course being built. updates to our list of the top 10 golf courses throughout South Africa. It's important to note we're going to be using those comments that you put down there, so don't be afraid to put whatever you want. Let's zoom on out so we can take a look at the number third golf course on this list. That's right, we're headed back to Fan Court Resort for that link style course that they have there as well. Now this course stretches along 6,930 yards, hosted multiple events that are well known. It's a private slash resort, listed as a link style course, and is a par 73. It was open, and the course was built, this course was built in 2000, and it was designed by Gary Player. It's one of his more challenging courses, as he quoted saying it's one of the hardest courses he's ever built and he's built a lot of courses and he's made a lot of courses on this list so far and there's no other way to put this than he might be the best golf architect keep a lookout for that video this course here is very unique as you can see with some of those bunkers there if you played these courses let us know and the clubhouse is also hosting many events in the future let's so zoom on out to take a look at our number two golf course on this list. And we're gonna give it to Pearl Valley Golf and Country Estate. This private resort style course is listed as a parkland style course. That's a par 72 with a ton of houses all over it, but you can see it's very clean looking and very elite with a beautiful backdrop pushing it over the edge. It stretches 6,577 yard meters and it has a slope of 148 and a rating of 75.5. It's a par 72 that was built in 2003 and built by Jack Nicholas. Had some updates in the late 2000s and has bent grass greens and the fairways are listed as cool bent grass. That will move us into our number one golf course for the country of South Africa. And this course has been ranked a number one golf course almost year in and year out. And we'll have to give it our number one this year. It's listed as a semi-private course there on the water. Also is a link style course that stretches 6,157 meters for a par 72. Has a ton of history and that's why we pushed it over the edge to give it our number one golf course. Being built in 1922 by George Waterman. And the green fees are listed as being pretty reasonable at 525 ZAR. It's not on the weekdays but it seems to be on the so that's even better. And that's going to do it for our list of the top 10 golf courses throughout the country of South Africa. If you are interested in learning about more golf courses throughout the world, you're going to want to subscribe to this channel as we continuously update these lists. That's going to do it for this list. And if you have any comments about the video, put that down in the comment section below. Again, this is Opinionated, and this is World Twilight Offer. Go fly! Launch control, this is Houston. We are go for launch.